Really physical game, direct game at times, against probably one of the better teams in the championship and a team that has, I believe, 11 of 11 starters from last year back. Maybe I'm wrong on one or two of them, um, but it showed. The Rowdies are a really well-drilled team, um, extremely pacey, powerful, direct, good football team. And um, it's a brilliant test, to be honest. Now, the emotions straight after the game were such that we were really disappointed. Let 24 hours go over, watch the footage yesterday, and there's lots of good moments in the game. Um, a lot of good. There's just some moments where their physicality and athleticism overpowered us in, in crucial 50-50s that created some chances. But there's a good run out and a, a really positive step for us. It's always difficult to like reflect on pre-season games because as athletes, you know, it's a game which you want to win. And so the scoreline always is kind of disappointing when you don't come away with the win. Um, but these preseason games are about development. It's about getting together as a team and uh, trying to execute the things that we've been working on. So if we kind of start breaking the game down play by play, I think it's more helpful to give you a better insight of where we're at. Um, and we're going to do that later on, but I'm sure there's going to be plenty of clips that can reflect the work that we've put in the past couple of weeks. The result wasn't great and I don't think the overall performance, I think there was a lot of disappointment from everybody, um, individually and as a team. Um, but this is what pre is about. I mean, we played Atlanta United, we played Tampa, that's MLS and USL champions and it's fantastic to be able to have these challenges this early. Um, you know, we went, our first pre-season was 9-0 against all sorts of championship teams and whatever. And, the season didn't reflect that, you know. So it's it's uh, it's good it's good to be challenged early because you don't build you know this false confidence. Uh, but just like anything, you stay balanced. Whether we win all our games in pre-season or lose them all, it's it's not the end of the world, and it's not uh, we're going to win the league. It's just a matter of breaking them down and analysing the work we've put into the training ground and is it working or not, and where do we need to improve. Well, we knew by design that the two teams that we played against on this front end were going to highlight all the deficiencies and really areas that we need to work on. From looking at the footage, that's, that's evident some of the aspects that we've not worked on yet weren't good. But the positive is the stuff we have worked on showed in both matches. Um, and what we put a lot of stock into has um, kind of developed into the game and that's always for coaching staff. That's a really positive sign for us. So it's good. I mean, we're, we're hopefully, you know, we'll keep on playing above ourselves, playing above ourselves, playing above ourselves, and then we come to the USL1 level, obviously a very good level, but comparatively, um, it should set us in a good position. It's, it's great to have people that know Tormenta, they know what we're about, um, they've been at this training ground, they've been around us and with us, and uh, there's always a little bit of adjustment and uh, a little bit of, I think, figuring themselves out within the professional locker room and where they stand, And but, um, We've got an unbelievably talented squad, um, and I hope we're able to fulfil our potential. Which, if we do, we're going to be we're going to be pretty good. Four Lauderdale at home uh, for the home opener. Very very good team, packed with talent. Uh, a team that came here last year and won at our field. So that's something that we obviously want to correct um, on our end. But it's it's great to get it. 28 game season. A lot of these boys have are young, so they either only played one full season, or only last year was their first year, or this is their first year. So. Two thirds of the squad have not played a professional season yet, um, and that's going to be a really good challenge. But looking at the schedule, exciting! It's just it's a privilege to get to play all these games and have a full schedule and and uh, get going. <laughs>